Hello world, uh, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's What Sold video. I have 25 items that sold across our main account on eBay. Um, we will just jump right in. I have first up is the uh, lot of two 1993 Philadelphia Phillies uh, National League Champions and World Series coffee cup mug. Get a close up here. I got these for our normal like 50 cents a piece. On the back there they have National League Champions. And these are both in very good condition of course, the way we usually buy them. No spoon stir marks. Still pretty much new. You can see the uh, sticker from the bottom there had been torn off. And on the other one it still had the hologram sticker. So anyway, from about a buck to... Uh, let me make sure I did not take an offer on these. I meant to have this pulled up before I started the uh, video. That's okay, it'd just take just a second. Always run your finger across the edge on all these uh, ceramics and breakables and stuff to make sure that um, uh, no chips or anything, flea bites as they call them on the edge there. Almost to it here. We got, yeah, we had these listed for $32.99 with uh, free shipping. And we took an offer of $27 for free shipping on these. So next up, we have these Pier 1 Imports uh, dog coasters with uh, different types of dogs. There was a, a Doshin, Doc, Dotson. <laughs> I always say that wrong. The wiener dog, a beagle, a doodle. I think I spelled that wrong. It's supposed to be a poodle, but they still sold. I had them listed for a, uh, Twenty six thirty nine, and that's what they sold for twenty six thirty nine with free shipping. And we just had, you know, the dollar or two in these. These were new open box, had a little shelfware on them, but still brand new. Next up is Moleskin Passions Recipe Journal, uh, brand new hardcover. Uh, paid like a dollar, a dollar fifty for this at our normal thrift store, and this sold for full asking of twenty dollars and sixty five cents. Next up, we have a Pendleton, kind of a, not necessarily buffalo plaid, but that kind of style. Uh, this did not have a size tag in it, so I did, of course, measure this like I do all of our clothing and stuff. Um, in worn shape, of course, we only gave a few bucks for this. Had a listed for thirty-two eighty-four, and we took an offer of $20 with a free first class shipping just to send it on down the road. Show you the tag on that one. Older style Pendleton tag. And next up we have, oh yeah, the this little My Little Pony. We, we got, if you watch the haul video on these, we got a lot of two of these in a bag. And uh, one of them, not this one, was, turned out to be the more valuable one. I still have it, of course, but this one sold first. Uh, this is the one we were going after originally, this My Little Pony with the uh, Santa uh, on its little hind quarters there. And we just gave, you know, like $2 for the bag of items. And this one sold for full asking of $24 and 98 cents with free shipping. Um, a word of caution with these, the people that collect these are very, very picky. So be very thorough on the, uh, condition and make sure there's no hair pulled out of the mane or the tail. They definitely want to know that this area right up here. They want to make sure all the hair is there, so get a good photo of that. Next up, this uh, Bobax uh, pocket water bottle. I bought three of these uh, quite a quite a long time ago, and this is the last one. They've all sold now. I took an offer on this one of nineteen dollars, free first class shipping. Had it listed for twenty three ninety nine, and I bought all three of these in one of those bags for like two bucks. So they turned out pretty well. Next up is Con Air 12, more Big Curls Hot Roller Set. This is brand new in the box. I think we gave $7.50 for this or so. And uh, this sold for full asking price of $39.89 with uh, free shipping. And these, this was definitely brand new. It was all sealed in the original plastic. All the pins and curlers and clips and the whole deal. So, And this one sold fairly quickly as well. So it was a pretty nice little flip. This next one's not a very good flip. <laughs> um, 
paid up for this. I think we paid $15 for this in a very shelf worn box, hoping we could sell it before Halloween last year. And it, uh, didn't, but that's okay. You know, cause I sell seasonal stuff all year long, but I uh, had it listed for $50 with free shipping, took a best offer of $35 with free shipping. And, uh, with the shipping cost on this, we, you know, probably made five bucks, uh, when it's all said and done after the uh, final value fees and shipping cost on that. Sometimes you just got to get your money back, right? Next up, the, another little wiener dog, Dotson, little, uh, dresser valet, kind of a change caddy, you know, wallet in the back part of it had a little spot for your wallet or whatever else you want to put in there. Uh, had this listed for twenty three ninety nine with free shipping. Took twenty three dollars. Took an offer of twenty three dollars with free shipping. Went back and forth with the guy on this, and I took a buck off because I think it was reasonably priced at that price. So glad to move that on. Next up, this Far Side Gary Larson ice cream truck coffee mug, uh, just like our normal coffee mugs and stuff. Fifty seventy five cents. Really good condition. No spoon stir marks. Yeah. Really nice one, 1982. And uh, this sold for full asking price of $23.99 with uh, free shipping. Next up, this text, Texas Instruments BA2 financial calculator. Uh, paid, I think, uh, $350 or so for this. And this sold for full asking of $29.99 with free first class shipping. Brand new, sealed in the package. Next up, this uh, Pottery Barn with the uh, Dripping Edge uh, chocolate mugs, a uh, set of four of them. And we gave a, our normal price for mugs for these, like 50 cents a piece or so, maybe even less than that. Had these for a little while, as you can tell by the, the bad picture here. But uh, these sold for a best offer of $30 with free shipping. I had them listed for $39.59. And $30 is a good deal on those for someone and for me. Next up, this Black & Decker um, Handy Mixer cordless, uh, cordless Beater with bo in a blender in the box. Attachments complete. New other. This was open box. I took it out, you know, tested it. Just like I do all these open box small electronics. Uh, you can see all the attachments there. Brand new in the bag. And uh, everything was disclosed about this. You know, it took all the... Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> just got an offer came in had my phone pulled up here with all the uh, stuff on here and you see that uh but anyway um disclosed everything about this you know it was open box took it out tested it was new you know you can see the attachments there brand new uh got this for like five dollars or 750 or so and um uh, it sold for full price 59.89 with uh, uh calculated shipping and sold super fast too and, of course, the person flipped out because the original instructions weren't in the box. I mean, I absolutely threw a hissy fit. You, you, if you do this long enough, you see hissy fits on eBay. But I was just, just astounded. Um, I told the person just to return it if they wanted to. But they didn't. They didn't want to. And uh, finally gave him a little bit of a refund. A little bit of a partial refund just to placate him. But, uh, yeah, it's amazing what people will blow their gasket over. Just part of it, right? Next up, this Go Diego Go Wii game, brand new, sealed. I gave just like a dollar for this and listed it for $21.10 plus shipping. And this sold within hours. Uh, this was in one of my recent haul videos just a week or two ago. And this sold just super, I don't know, probably more than a week or two ago. But this sold super quick, uh, super fast flip. Next up, this Michigan Wolverines uh, puffer winter jacket, 50% goose down. Had this for quite a while, but I only gave like 10 bucks for this. This is vintage for sure, um, but I would still buy it again. I did take an offer on this of $63 with free shipping. So all in all, you know, came out after fees and everything, about $45 or so. Uh, made a good $30, $35 profit on this jacket. So pretty nice little sale. Next up, this Tonka um, Cement Mix Truck. Um, gave just like $2.50 or, or $5 for this. Uh, I usually pick up these older style Tonka metal trucks when 
I see them for a reasonable price and they're in decent shape. And this one was, um, everything worked on this a person bought it for $50, uh, plus shipping as you see. And, um, this is funny. This is one of the Christmas returns. Well, Christmas refunds. Um, pretty soon after new year's, I get a, a message saying it doesn't work. Seriously. It doesn't work. I know it works because it has one, two moving parts and pieces. And of course I spun it around and everything and I knew it worked. And basically I got job for a refund because bottom line is this thing. By the time I pay for return shipping, I'm going to go in the red. So I just refunded them, let them keep it, chalk it up, you know, as one of the, the, uh, yeah, Christmas <laughs> refunds. And I fully expected anywhere from three to five returns slash refunds from Christmas stuff. And I was about that. I think I was at four and this was one of them. So fully expected it. This was a nice flip. This was a, uh, Stetson hat made by Stetson, 1984, uh, Indiana Jones fedora hat. This was real wool and felt hat made specifically for the movie by Stetson. I picked this up for just a few dollars and this was in really good condition. And, uh, this sold for a full asking of $60, $59.89 with a free first class shipping. And this wasn't super, this looks like somebody bought this back in the day and set it on a shelf and just left it there. I took a little uh, lint brush to it and got some of the dust and dirt off. Yeah, check that out. The original tag. See right down there, the John's, John B. Stetson Company. 1984. Yeah, really, really nice flip. This was a really, really good sale. Uh, this Fockenob Storm System Piana Albert Goldberg Jacket Men's Double Extra Large. I paid uh, $15 for this, 15 or 20 Really good condition. Uh, wool blend, I'm pretty sure, and it was lined. Let me get some pictures here. Yeah. That, that quilted lining. Just a super, super nice high-end jacket. You can see right there, 100%, 100% wool, not even a wool blend. 100% wool. And this sold, uh, it took a few months, but this sold for full asking price. Oh, no, actually, I took an offer. I'm sorry. I was looking down at my notes here. Um, had it listed for $200 free shipping. Sold for $150 with free shipping. So that was a super, super nice sale. Next up, this Faults Graph American Pineapple Friendship Pitcher from 1993, first issue. We bought a whole lot of this stuff. And paid like 10 or $15 for four or five pieces of this stuff. But I um, parceled out, listed it separately because people looking for this stuff, looking to replace stuff that got broken usually. Not highly collectible, but still sells. I think in uh, average cost, it, we, this was about three bucks what it cost us. And this sold for full asking of $50 with free shipping. Next up, the Simpsons Large Talking and Dancing uh, Homer Simpson. Uh, this was in the original box with the original packing material. was used, though. You could tell. Uh, I took it out and tested it and made sure it worked, and it did. And we gave, like, $5 for this. And I took an offer uh, on this of $45 with uh, free shipping. So made really good quick profit on that little Homer Simpson. Next up, this uh, Navy Lacrosse Champion Sweatshirt Hoodie. Uh, men's extra large took a while to sell this as you can tell by the picture um, paid less than five dollars for this and it sold we took a best offer on this of 29 dollars with uh, free shipping next up this L.L. Bean uh, men's uh, fleece lined uh, nylon red vest uh, paid I think seven dollars and fifty cents for this and uh, we had it listed for fifty nine dollars and forty cents took a best offer of forty dollars with free first class shipping on this next up the Florida State Seminoles National Champions uh, 2013-14 coffee mug our normal fifty cents on this uh, really good condition Unless it is used, though, I mean, unless that's obvious, like in a box or with the tags or anything, you got to list it as used. Uh, no spoon sir marks, and this sold for full asking of twenty three ninety nine with uh, free shipping. 
Next up, these Aldi grocery store uh, employee shirts, and these are the performance fabric shirts. The person that bought this listing just wanted the, there was two gray ones and three blue ones in the slot. They just wanted the two gray ones, and that's why I took an offer of $18 uh, with free first class shipping, because they just wanted two shirts. So, you know, nine bucks per shirt, you know, subtract the shipping, eight bucks per shirt or so, and I just gave like literally a dollar a piece for these shirts uh, they were really cheap in the thrift store because they're a, a branded shirt uh, a lot of people just pass these over but uh, give them a second look they will sell for you last item is this Ghostbusters uh, slumber tent had this for a while but figured it would sell I had it priced really high well what I think was really high $100 uh, with free shipping and I took a best offer on this of $75 with free shipping so I was really glad to sell that on this was in really good condition. It was uh, missing uh, four of the T connectors. I had everything else in the original box. See, I had the parts list there, the original instructions, and I'm pretty sure I laid this out. Yeah, check that out. Should have rotated this picture, but uh, really, really cool. Vintage. This is from uh, 1986. So, uh, yeah, really, really nice sale. And that is all, guys. That is 25 items that sold on eBay. Um, yeah, we're, uh, this video, this is the first sold video that we'll be posting on Thursday instead of Friday. So I'm uh, recording this on, uh, Wednesday afternoon, and this will be up tonight for our patrons. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks you. Thanks a million. <laughs> I have the fumble today. Thanks a million dollar patrons, all of our subscribers, the, uh, in the uh, live videos, everyone that gives super chats, you guys are the best. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe, share, spread the word. Um, we really enjoy doing this for you. And we will see you guys uh, on Friday with a live video, Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. So thanks, guys.